In this case study, you will perform a static analysis of a bracket with mesh control. This bracket is fixed at its four holes and a load of 1200 Newton is applied at its top face. The bracket is made of AISI304 steel material. We will perform uh, this its mesh study also using SOLIDWORX static simulation module. So start a new simulation study from simulation tab. Click on new study and uh, select static simulation. You can give it a specific name. Okay. First of all, we will assign material to this steel bracket. So right click on bracket, apply edit material. And apply AISI 304 to this bracket. After that, we will assign fixtures to these four holes. Right click on fixture, fixed geometry, and select four faces of these holes. So we have applied a fixed fixture to these four holes. Our next step is to apply a load to this top surface. From external loads, right click, select force from load type and select force type. Select this surface and it is normal to this surface. Its value is 1200 Newton. This is per item. So uh, you have applied a load of 1200 Newton on this surface that is uniformly distributed. Our next step, step is to apply mesh. In our first step, we will uh, keep our mesh default. Then uh, we will uh, run our simulation and evaluate results. After that, we will apply mesh control and again compare the results. From mesh, right click mesh, create mesh. From mesh parameters, select curvature based mesh. And keep other parameter default. Okay. So mesh has been generated. Run this simulation study now and wait until your simulation completes. So our simulation has been completed. Our first step is to evaluate one mice is stretches stretches at this bracket from stress go to edit definition our units are mega pascal from chart options you can show maximum and minimum stress values And also you can select floating option so we can see that maximum stress occurs at this corner on this edge 
that is about 38.5 megapascal also this stress is very low as compared to material yield strength it means that our materials under these loading conditions is safe so our next step is to apply mesh control on this edge where stress is maximum so from mesh tab right click apply mesh control select this edge edge is already selected and drag mesh density factor to its maximum value you can see element size has been decreased if we keep it coarse our element size increases and if we keep it fine our element size decreases we can decrease uh, more and we'll keep our element size about one millimeter okay create mesh select uh, yes you can see mesh density on this area is more as compared to other part of the bracket now our next step is to go uh, to run this simulation again yes we our results have been refined more you can see that the stress uh, at uh, this edge is 61.8 megapascal now if you rem remember that stress values with default mesh was about 38 megapascals stress has been increased so increasing our meshing mesh element size we can get a more accurate solutions but you how but can you tell me what is the disadvantages of using minimum or reduced element size please give your answers in comments you can also evaluate its displacement so maximum uh, displacement occur at this point that is about 0 0.0 5 millimeter we can animate it so if you have any query you can ask uh, me questions in comment section of this solidworks simulation tutorial take care goodbye